Hello everybody, welcome to a uh, tutorial on the uh, new Airplane Heaven and Feel There Embraer uh, E-Jets uh, for P3D. Uh, we're here in the virtual cockpit in Milwaukee. And what we're going to be doing is kind of going through the different phases of uh, flight on board the aircraft uh, from the perspective of a, uh, a real-world Embraer uh, pilot. So I fly the 175 for a U.S. airline. Um, I've been working with uh, Feel There and Airplane Heaven on the beta test team for quite a while now. They've put a lot of uh, hard work into this airplane, and as you can see visually, it, it really looks outstanding, and they've done a lovely job. So I'm going to explain some of the complexities that go into the Embraer that make it just a little different from your uh, typical 7-3 or A320 simulator pilot. We're in the aircraft cold and dark. Um, now, the first thing you'll notice, and you've probably seen on YouTube videos if you've tried to learn anything about the Embraer, that uh, most of the overhead switches are designed to be in the 12 o'clock position in the normal position. Uh, when the aircraft's cold and dark, battery 1 and 2 will be off, the emergency lights will be off, um, and the uh, hydraulic pumps will be in the auto and off position for 3A. What makes 3A different is 3A doesn't have an auto position, so we'll be in the off position for hydraulic pump 3A. Uh, the first step to uh, powering up this aircraft is uh, battery 1 and battery 2 to the on and auto position. Uh, you're going to get some ICAST messages up here, you're going to get your master caution going off. In the real aircraft we give it about a minute um, to uh, power up and make sure we have all of the proper messages. Uh, we're not going to get necessarily all of these. Um, the Embraers that are out there in the marketplace all have different uh, loads on the software and that supplies different FMS features and different ICAST messages that can come through the startup phase. So it, it might be different uh, from what you see on YouTube based on the year in which airline is flying the aircraft. Uh, so what we're going to do is go through the uh, the flows and setting up the aircraft for flight here. Um, this is how my company does it so you might see different things. Uh, that's all just based on the uh, SOPs of the uh, the airline that flies the aircraft. So we run our fire test next. We're going to press and hold our fire test. We make sure that our overhead switches eliminate and our ICAST messages appear. Fire goes into the ITTs and then we cancel out the messages. That's done. We're ready to power up the aircraft. So the GPU will go in use. We'll select it in. You'll notice all of your display units come up and uh, begin the IRS alignment process. Uh, the next message is the emergency lights message on there, so we'll flick these to on to ensure we get our emergency lights on and not armed light. And then we would check the cabin if we could uh, view the cabin to make sure that those lights are on. Back to on, or back to armed, it stays armed, and now pretty much everything's in the 12 o'clock position. Uh, we go through and just make sure that they are the our, our ESS, our arterials are uh, in the uh, on auto position. Um, we just lost our GPU. That's I clicked the power or the parking brake button on my uh, yoke, so bear with me while that comes back here in a moment. Um, so all these switches should be in the uh, the 12 o'clock position momentarily when the uh, parker the uh, GPU comes back in. I tell you what, we'll just start the APU since I made a little mistake there. APU goes to on. We check down here onto our uh, our iCast display. And uh, there's 0% at a, temp a temperature, that means the FADEC is uh, monitoring the APU. And uh, we can start that up. So we uh, go through our start process here. Now you'll notice the uh, APU has changes from the original E-Jets that were released by Feel there. They now have the cooldown for the APU so it doesn't immediately shut down. Uh, this is consistent with what you'll see on your uh, Airbus or 73 if you're used to something along those lines. So we let this spool up. Once it comes online, we can check our electrical page here and see that uh, right now the none of the buses are being powered, and now the GPU is back. So let that switch push in. So that's powering up our uh, systems. Now, when you come on board the aircraft, if you're ever a uh, passenger, usually at the end of the flight or when you're boarding, you'll notice it's in the electrical and status. Uh, this is how we leave it when we uh, park the aircraft. And then once we're getting ready to push, we'll put it into the uh, flight control side on the uh, FO and status on the, uh, the captain's side. Uh, my company, the FO, checks the majority of the flight control services, so we, uh, we leave that up. Um, one of the other cool changes is now the map function uh, stays here. You don't have to keep clicking it open every single time, um, which is uh, consistent with the real airplane. Down here we've got our yoke hide. We're going to hide that to make things a little bit easier for us. Um, so. Just a quick run over once again of the basic flow. Batteries on, run the fire test, GPU available, 
uh, run your emergency lights test, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to the basic power-up of the aircraft. It, it's a very, uh, very easy ergonomics aircraft to, uh, to fly. Um, that's all we have for this one. Uh, the next tutorial is going to go into programming the MCDU and uh, getting the aircraft ready to fly.